Before I read uh, David's results, I, I don't, you know, did you see him do it? No, you did not, and I believe that. But your daughter did say to you that he did do it. So, and you didn't believe her. I don't know how any mother could ignore that. I really don't. Uh, David came on, he took a lie detector test, and we broke it down to two sections, uh, abuse and molest. I'll read the abuse first. David was asked, did you injure your two-year-old child in any way? He answered no. Did you ever suffocate your two-year-old child? He answered no. The results came back to each question the same, and they came back that David did not tell the truth. <laughs> No chemicals. The only bad chemical that was in that car standing right there. Yeah. Five month old baby, hand or face into some kind of cushion, car seat, hand over a baby's mouth that can't breathe. Because why? Baby crying too much? Got on your nerves? Then we asked your fiance, the father of your children, did you ever have physical contact with Maria's daughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. <laughs> Three tests for each of the molest and abuse and deception was indicated. He did not tell the truth. Now, Maria, you took the same test. You told me you believe this test is very accurate. You took the test and you passed. This guy fails for torturing your baby. He fails for sexually abusing your daughter that is living with Thea. What do you want to say to David? You're going to jail. I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? What are you apologizing for? You told the truth that you didn't know. You should know everything about your babies. You should know where they are, what's happening to them. You failed as a mother. And what do you want to say? I think your test is wrong. You think the... It's a flip of a coin. It's a flip of a coin? The test is not a flip of the coin. Life is a flip of a coin. And the flip of the coin that she lost was picking you. She's not innocent either. No. I mean, you're a bad mom. No, she's not. She's a bad mom. Mm -hmm. But she's not nearly as bad as you. And guess what? This isn't a threat or anything. This is just Steve, the f fortune teller here. You're going to jail. And Not that I wish violence or abuse on anybody, but I think you're going to get a little taste of your own medicine in jail. <laughs> and whatever I can do to help put you in jail, I'm going to do. And I'm going to enjoy it. Oh, I'm going to enjoy it so much. And that's why I love doing this show. 
And that's why you're never going to get one, because you won't be able to do one, because you're going to jail. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> We need more parents like you and your wife who've done just a wonderful job raising kids. And the purpose of raising your kids is to serve others. Yes. Which, if we've, everybody would do that, this world would be a much better place. Right. I applaud you for taking care of these kids. I applaud you for coming on the show today. I really appreciate it. For you, Maria, you failed. You failed as a mother. You failed, but you're 39 years old. It's not too late. No. You can get some redemption here. Instead of fighting with them or thinking they're doing something wrong, you put that guy in jail, you start working with your uncle and your nieces and your cousins, all the ones that are protecting your children, and get some redemption. Let your be, from this moment on, from this day forward, be a good mother. <laughs> And I'll say this, you can't just turn the switch on no. and off. It's gonna take time. It's a process. And you gotta earn yeah. trust. And that's gonna be a long time coming. Right. I wish you all the best of luck.